Coffee time. Good morning and welcome back. This morning we had a lovely coffee with our next door neighbors, Reese and Darn, <laughs> which has been sort of the norm now that we're doing this work for Stay Stint at Yardy Homestead. It is such a hot day, so... Beautiful, it feels like summer. Yeah. It's insane. So we are planning to go out on the boat on Reese and, Tars, Reese and Tarn's tinny for the whole afternoon. Hopefully we'll catch some cool wildlife and just enjoy the golf side. Should be a really good one. Yeah, it's been crazy busy the last, like, I guess week or so. Yeah. We've, we've had so much work on our plate, so it's been really hard to... We've still been fitting in plenty of fun little surfs. juggling a lot of weird stuff and now we've sort of at the tail end of that back to more adventure and put it up on YouTube for you guys. Yeah, so come along. <laughs> This water is insane. <laughs> what the heck was what that? Just the most epic <laughs> day so ever. We weren't even, we we're just gonna have snacks and, <laughs> and decide where we're gonna dive. No, we nearly get bowled over by whales. Oh my god. And we just found a manta mating. <laughs> 
Oh my god, this is insane. Look at, Look at this water. Yeah, the fact that it's so clear and glass <gasps> off right now as well. Oh my oh god. My god. I don't know what emotion to feel. How amazing was that? That was so one of fun. the coolest experiences ever. We couldn't have planned it either. We like we've been on the tinny before and we didn't see like too much one day. And that oh it was crazy. Like we literally just started sort of getting around the area that we would I guess look to like anchor up and go for a bit of a dive. So then I chucked the drone up just to see if we could find some like reef structures to just sort of anchor near so like for good diving and then instantly that's like a total of eight whales in that first like five minutes mm. and that clip we'll just chuck it over the top now the clip of the um one of the whales zooming up behind the other three and then they put that big handbrake on and sort of like scare that by uh, the fourth one away that's actually the male bull chasing the uh one of the females that has a calf and the third one there that does the big turnaround and scares him off is actually like a, a guardian or an escort, an escort in the yeah. whale world so normally you'll find a mother a calf and then another female that's there to also help protect the mother and the calf because then the bulls come sniffing around a mate which was <laughs> so cool to capture like yeah. we just was unbelievable and then swimming out of the boat was crazy it's just one of those <laughs> like you just you, it makes you feel very small and that you're just a part of this interconnected nature yeah. show almost. It's just, oh, it, so oh cool. this place just keeps delivering and this yeah. is why we can't bring we ourselves can't leave. to leave because it's just so amazing. And I think if you do have time up here, well, one, if you come up here, plan to stay longer than expected yes. because it just happens to everyone. You're going to want to spend a lot longer up here than you've planned, most likely. Um, and while you can do a lot of fun diving and see a lot of creatures from the shore, I definitely think it's worth looking into either renting a boat or a tinny, which you can do, um, finding friends who have boats like us. That was us. very lucky for us, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, or even going on the tours. Um, I think there's just so much sea life out there that is beyond the shore and Yeah, it's and incredible. if you do plan to spend a fair bit of time, it is worth, like our friend's recent time that we went out on their mm -hmm. tinny, they bought it for Exmouth and they're getting rid of it after Exmouth. So that's also a possibility if it just opens a whole new world of so much cool stuff. Yeah. Which is just nuts. So then after that, after all that happened, uh, we then had some lunch and had to just figure out what just happened. And then we quickly jumped in for a bit of a spear because we were looking to maybe catch a couple of fish for a fish curry or something. And then literally within like five minutes, I got this 60 centimeter flathead. So yeah. then we basically got that happy days no need to keep fishing after that just whack that in zipped home and cooked up fish tacos in a lovely evening to just finish the day off it was just one of those days that one of those days. everything lined up and was i was still just trying to process it <laughs> all <laughs> it's just insane like oh what a feeling but now now what are we doing We've still got back to a bit more work, things like that. We're still shooting a lot of stuff, making the most of this really nice weather and also the locations that we have in Exmouth for a lot of jobs that we're shooting and campaigns that we're doing. So still keeping really busy with that. So I think that'll wrap up this week's video. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully, our time's running out here in Exmouth as well. So hopefully we'll have a couple more before we end up leaving. Um, but yeah, just thanks for checking in once again. Mm -hmm. We hope you like this one. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,